Hi guys, this is Jolt. In today's video, we are going to check out this MJJC short gun. Uh, this is the one which I received directly from MJJC. However, it's not a paid advert. You are going to hear and see my honest opinion as usual. Uh, we are going to check it out on this Kranzel 1152 TST. And right now I got this Italian made MV951. So we are going to replace that one and see how is it. Okay, the first difference is that I can see is that the MJJC is something smaller than the MV951. It is a bit lighter, but like that much lighter as smaller it is. Also, there is a swivel on the MV951, which is not present on the MJJC. It's fixed and this swivel can move together with the hose pipe. So that one is a big plus for me, for the MV951 uh, and a little bit of letdown with the MJJC, but it's still okay. Uh, it would be just better to have the swivel. Other than that, the MJJC can handle 250 bars, no, sorry, 280 bars of pressure and the MV951 can handle 350 bars. I don't want to do either 280 or 350. I would use anyway maximum 160, 170 bars, uh, but constantly I'm using 140. So it's more than enough. The MGJC's uh, water uh, throughput is 25 liters a minute, whilst the other one is 40 liters a minute, but even the 25 is more than enough for me. And temperature wise is the same. They can both handle up to 150 degrees centigrade which again, I'm not planning to put 150 uh, degrees centigrade water uh, through the short guns. Anywho, um, let's have a look uh, during usage how it lives up to my expectations, the MJJC, because the other one, of course, I know.
Okay, hey boys and girls, that was the MJJC short gun. I would say it's a really good one. It's lighter than my previous one, the MV951. It is smaller, so it's, it's easier to handle. There is one issue, and for me at the moment it's a showstopper, is the swivel. The, it, this one has no swivel, so I need to work out how to put a swivel on. And as soon as that one is done, then this one is the winner for the easier handling. The reason why I need the swivel is because when I use and I keep moving my hand and the short gun, the hose pipe is keep twisting and turning and I'm losing time trying to unwind and untwist the, um, the hose pipe. But other than that, it's really easy and uh, it's, it looks like a good construction. So I just need to work out how to how to replace this connector with a swivel and then it's a winner for me. And that concludes this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. I'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.